In this video, let's talk about half-life and radioactive decay. Half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of a substance to break down. For example, if I started with 100 grams of a substance, I would want to see how long it takes for it to become 50 grams, so this represents a half-life. And it can be measured in seconds, or minutes, or hours, so it depends on the radioactive element, each um, substance will decay at a different half-life. Now, that's one half-life, what if this thing decays again and becomes 25 grams? So this would represent a second half-life. Okay, and then we can actually represent a third half-life by looking at what happens um, after three rounds of decay. I'm actually going to be left with 12.5 12 grams from my original sample. So we can use a chart like this, or there's a formula that's actually easier. So the amount remaining of a substance equals its initial amount times a half to the power of n, so n represents the number of half-lives you have, or that have elapsed. So for example, in this question, the initial amount was 100 grams, and if you guys remember from my chart, three half-lives elapsed, so when you do this, the amount that remains after three half-lives for this substance is 12.5 grams. So this is about radioactive decay and half-life. If you have any questions, let me know, and thank you for watching.